Back to tonight's breaking news. President Obama says he now supports same-sex marriage. The president says his position on this issue has evolved. So here's a look at that evolution, starting back in 2004 when he was a U.S. Senate candidate at home in Illinois. I'm sorry we don't have that sound for you. We'll bring it to you as soon as we can. Let's continue our conversation with Pastor Dwayne Walker of Little Rock AME Zion Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. He's a supporter of the president. Mike Signorelli is host of Sirius XM's OutQ and editor-at-large for Huffington Post Gay Voices. And Chris Barron is the chairman of GOP Proud. Uh, Pastor, I want to start with you. As someone who supports this president uh, but does not support same-sex marriage, am I right there? That, that, that is correct. Okay, I hope we have this sound. I want you to listen. The president earlier today in explaining his evolution on this issue to ABC News talked about his Christian faith and what he called the golden rule. Let's listen. When we think about our faith, the, the thing you know, at, at root that we think about is not only uh, Christ sacrificing himself on our behalf, uh, but it's also the golden rule. You know, treat others the way you'd want to be treated. Pastor, what does the Bible tell you on this issue? Well, I believe that marriage is between, is, is God ordained between a man and a woman, that um, the marriage is to um, plenty, the, uh, well, the marriage is, is, is ordained of God uh, so that uh, we either be fruitful and multiply and that is the purpose for marriage. And I have a problem with um, the whole notion of marriage between a man and a man or a woman and a woman. And so if a member of your congregation came to you and said, I supported President Obama last time, I was proud to be part of making history, uh, but this bothers me. I disagree with him on this issue. Uh, should that, if that voter said it's enough for me to stay home or not support him, what would you say? I would encourage them to continue to support the president, as I will. Um, there are things that my wife and I don't agree with, but doesn't mean we're going to divorce. Uh, I believe that uh, he is certainly entitled to his opinion. I certainly appreciate the struggle and the evolution that he has, uh, uh, that he has uh, been involved with, and, but I still stand with the president 100%. Mike, you had been very critical of the president uh, in the past for not coming this far. But what does today mean to you? And as your answer, uh, the point I was making earlier is the president didn't just announce his change of heart here. He did it sitting in the White House with the seal of the United States over his shoulder and the American flag over his shoulder. I think the president really is comfortable in this decision. I think he has been comfortable with the issue of uh, marriage equality for a long time. I, I think it's clear the people in his ad administration support it. And I think you can see somebody who really is confident in his decision. Uh, he has gotten a lot of pressure, certainly, uh, from uh, activists and uh, a lot of the media asking him the questions. And I think they realized that he couldn't go further without fully evolving, without articulating his evolution. It really was going to become just something that would be a drumbeat, uh, a political problem. And I think that he realized as well, this is something that is very powerful for him to actually use to distinguish himself from Mitt Romney, certainly a contrast, and show himself as a leader, somebody who's not indecisive, somebody who stands up and says, this is what I believe in. That's a great president. Uh, Chris Barron, as a gay conservative, uh, you appreciate the president doing this. Uh, do you question there are a lot of people asking if you're going to evolve, Mr. President? Boy, why would you wait now, six months before an election? That makes it more of an issue, a day after North Carolina voted. Sure, absolutely. I mean, look, let's be honest. What the president did was the, the right thing, and it's a good first step. But the fact is, is this has been a purely political process for this president from the very beginning of his, his life in elected office. I mean, in 1996, he said he was for same-sex marriage when he thought it was a political winner for him. 2004, when he runs for office again, he says he's against it because he thinks it's a political winner to be against it. 2008, he's against it, he thinks it's a political winner. Now he knows it's a political winner for him to be for same-sex marriage. Hence, So you don't it. see it as something from the heart. You see it as something that's data-driven or poll-driven. If or it's from the heart, the heart has changed an awful lot over the last you know, 12 years. Uh, let's let, go back. At the top, we tried to bring you some, the president in his own words on the evolution. I think we have that ready now. Let's listen. What I believe in my faith is that uh, a man and a woman, uh, when they get married, uh, are performing something before God, and it's not simply uh, the two uh, persons who are meeting. Uh, but that doesn't mean that that necessarily translates into a position on public policy or 
uh, with respect to civil unions. What it does mean is, is that we have a set of traditions in place that I think uh, need to be preserved. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm not in favor of gay marriage. My feelings about this are constantly uh, evolving. I struggle with this. At this point, what I've said is, is that my baseline is a strong civil union that provides them the protections and the legal rights uh, that married couples have. I think what you're saying is um, a profound recognition on the part of the American people that gays and lesbians and transgender persons are our brothers, our sisters, our children, our cousins, our friends, our co-workers, uh, and that uh, they've got to be treated like every other American. At a certain point, I've just concluded that um, for me personally, it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. Now, that's the president's evolution right there in his own words. It's, I want to make clear, Governor Romney has also evolved on the issue of gay rights, too. Some would argue in the other direction. Here's what he said back in 1994 when he was running against the Democratic Senator Ted Kennedy. He told the leader of the uh, log cabin Republicans, a gay Republican group, I'm with you on this stuff. I'll be better than Ted Kennedy. Then in 2002, when he was running for governor of Massachusetts, his campaign distributed a flyer that said this, Mitt and Kerry, Kerry Healy was his running mate, wish you a great pride weekend. All citizens deserve equal rights regardless of sexual preference. But here is Governor Romney speaking today, in, er, today after the president made his decision. I do not favor um, uh, marriage between people of the same gender, and I don't favor civil unions if, if, if they're identical to marriage other than by name. Uh, my view is that domestic partnership benefits, hospital visitation rights and the like uh, are appropriate, but that uh, the others are not. So the question is, you have the two views of the two candidates. How will it play out in the campaign? Pastor, I want to go back to you. The president just barely carried your state last time. And young turnout, African-American turnout, a chance to make history. And let's be honest, depressed Republican turnout because they were mad at George W. Bush and didn't love John McCain were factors in that. Is this issue enough uh, to swing North Carolina back to the Republicans? I pray not. Uh, I believe that uh, many of us favor much of what the president has stood for. He's done a wonderful job as far as I'm concerned for our state uh, in light of the circumstances that he inherited. And I don't believe that this particular issue uh, will cause uh, many to turn from him. Uh, uh, Mike, you've watched how this play has played out. Uh, if you, the polling has certainly shifted, 27% back Absolutely. in 1996 to 50 percent now, say they support same-sex marriage. But when the anti-gay marriage, the bans, the constitutional members to put on the ballot, they tend to win. Uh, how do you see this playing out in November? Well, you know, um, what you just showed uh, was a an evolution of the American people. And that's where the president is right there in the mainstream of America. That shift from 2004, every one of those moves he made, is what the American people did to now the majority of Americans supporting marriage equality. Mitt Romney moved in the direction to a tiny portion of the Republican Party, the Republican base. That's an amazing thing to watch uh, with both of them. With regard to these ballot measures across the country, when you split the issue off from a candidate, um, you have people obviously voting sometimes in ways that, uh, as the pastor was describing, might reflect their religious views. But I think also, as Pastor described, when you have people voting on this issue, along with all of the other issues they're voting for in an election right now, it's not an important issue anymore. There are so many important things like the economy that people are voting on, and this will not be a deal breaker for those who are already voting for the president. In a very close election, though, Chris, intensity can matter. I know you disagree uh, with them on many issues, but when you hear evangelical leaders saying today, you know, a lot of our voters have some questions about Mitt Romney, but this decision by the president is going to motivate them to get out to vote. Will it? No, I don't think so. And quite honestly, I think that this is a political winner for the president. I think he probably should have gone further. I mean, for, for folks whose number one issue is marriage equality, the only candidate in the race that's really been 100% on marriage equality is Governor Gary Johnson, the libertarian right. candidate. And you know, look, Obama's got a problem with his base. He's, no, he's known he's had a problem with his base. And that's why he's come out for, for marriage. Look, everybody who is strongly against same-sex marriage is already with Governor Romney. And Governor Romney's positions, quite honestly, are outside of the mainstream. Chris Barron, Mike Signorelli, Pastor Walker, appreciate your insights tonight. We will watch how this plays Thank out. Thank you.